Find Your Voice presents Meet Your Strawman, Law, Language and Legalese. Also looking at the role of parents, support workers and gang intervention with panel discussion. So all you people out there that want to blame parents and blame, you don't know what we go up against. we got our baby fathers fighting us down, we got the system fighting us down and we got our communities fighting us down. And I've tried to tell you, but you're not listening. Date. Sunday, 28th of January, 2018. Time, 3pm to 8.30pm. Venue, Chestnut Community Centre, 280 St. Andrew, London, N15, 5pm. Tickets only £5. Plus, African Culture Market. For further information or store bookings, contact Sadagi on 07-882-403-871. That's 07-882-403-871. Also, tickets available from Body Music. This event is not to be missed. Texas, so give us a call on that number, 0794-994-7316. Let's let's hear your opinions on what we've been talking about. Coming back to where we were, uh, Jammers. I want people to understand, one one of our greatest weapons that we can possibly have is financial strength and power. And that's where I want people to understand why we started the Bain Fund. We wanted to give our people financial power so we can go and purchase everything we need ourselves without begging anyone for it. And then we can start our own schools and have our own community development centers and blah, blah, blah. This tomorrow, over there at the Exquisite Lounge, a.k.a. the Caribbean Edge, at 117 Bruce Grove, Tottenham N17, 6UR. Okay? Between 6, starts at 6 until 9 p.m. We're going to be laying out the Bain Fund for the people to have a fuller understanding of what the Bain Fund is all about. Um, and we're going to be having a full discourse so people can understand why it's important to, for us to have something such as the Bain Fund. No, it's completely free. Completely free. And there's also a restaurant you can buy food at if you're hungry or going to drink or whatever. It's open. So it's tomorrow over there at the Exquisite Lounge. The Bain Fund, Black African Economic Development Fund, will be having our first of the year Bain Fund meeting where we'll be discussing the Bain Fund and its benefits to the community and how important it is for us to contribute to the Bain Fund so that we can have a large fund of money to buy what we want rather than to beg for what we need. Okay? So come out, come on out tomorrow. Between, starts at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. over there at the Exquisite Lounge, a.k.a. the... Caribbean Edge, 117 Bruce Grove, N17, 6UR for your sat down. You know Bruce Grove Station? Along Bruce Grove is on the right side going up towards Lordship Lane. Can't miss it. Exquisite Lounge. Tomorrow. So come out and, and meet us all. We have a discourse of how we can help to move forward as a community. I think we don't invest in ourselves because we don't understand what an investment is. We always think that when we're spending our money, it's um, an expenditure as opposed to an investment. You know, when you buy a house that's accruing in value, that's an investment. Even though you're paying a mortgage for it, the mortgage isn't an expenditure, it's an investment in the house. Every time you pay your monthly mortgage, you're reducing the overall cost of the house, thereby increasing what is called equity in the house. So the equitable value is what you own, which you can use to leverage other monies to start businesses and, and the like. But we have, as a community, we, we haven't understood that. These are, not, these are not expenditures, these are investments. It's a bit like this. My brother Antonio is a, is, a, is, a, is a mortgage financial specialist. When you talk to him, he charges you a price because he's a consultant. He's an independent 
um, specialist in dealing with those matters. He charges you a price, but if you see it as an expenditure, you won't go see him and get the good advice he can give you. But if you see it as an investment in yourself, you go see him, because when you finish talking to him, he will point you in directions that will help you to get what you need. See? So that's an investment. But we always see things as, as an expenditure, as a cost. You know? I've invested thousands in myself to be where I am. So I can, that's the reason why I can answer questions that I do. I've studied, that's an investment. I've done like you. You've studied, so you've invested in yourself, so you now can give that study to others. That's an investment. We, st- we got to stop seeing things as cost rather than investment if it's beneficial to us. So, the reasons why I think it's important that we contribute to the Bain Fund because we have to see it as an investment in the future for our children, grandchildren, great, 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 great grandchildren. The more money we have as a community, the more we can do. For example, I don't know whether people have heard of the Rothschild family. The Rothschilds, according to statements, one family is worth $500 trillion. Those numbers you can't even write on paper. You couldn't get a piece of paper and write 500 trillions on there. The, there be so many zeros, you'd be off the page. You know what I'm saying? So, this is just one family. As a nation of people, we should be worth 10 times what the Rothschilds are worth. That way we wouldn't have to beg for anything. And it all starts with just dropping a dime in a bucket. As Bob Marley says, one, one coca, do what? Full up basket. That is so true. Every mickle make a muckle. It just means every penny makes a pound. And we're going to start realizing every pound makes five and tens and twenties and fifties and hundreds. Every penny that we put, every pound we put into this bucket increases. There's, a, there's, a, there's a, an old, um, an old uh, fable that goes like this. There was this, this donkey down in a ditch. And people would go past and see the donkey and laugh at the donkey and throw stones at the donkey. And they kept throwing stones at the donkey. So many stones that the donkey walked right under the ditch. Because the stones filled up the, the ditch and the donkey walked right out. We are like donkeys right now in a ditch. And we throw, we throw our money elsewhere. Rather than throwing our money elsewhere, throw your money where the donkey is so the donkey can walk out of the ditch and be strong because the money in the ditch will be so much the donkey can walk out and buy up the competition. Buy it up and use it to our advantage. And that's, that's where we're falling short because we don't understand everything we do affects us either positively or negatively. But it affects us either way. It's up to us to control the narrative, to control the paradigm, so it's acting in our favor. I would call it inferiority complex. We, we don't believe that we are able to do anything for ourselves. We will call them King Supreme. Greetings, King Supreme. What? Hold on, hold on, let me put you on. On the speaker. What do you say now? King, are you there? I think he's gone now. What? He, he hung up on me. You, you don't hang up on me, man. Call back and talk to us. We're in the studio. Jammers and myself, African Muhammad. Yes, yeah, so I, uh, I was saying that, yeah, this, what is the psychosis of a. Uh, a set of people that doesn't want to spend amongst each other, you know, and prefer to spend their pennies with somebody else, um, just like an ant would, would prefer to be with a bee Love or it. an anteater or a snail. You know, what is the psychotics behind that mentality? You know, it seems like if it's suicidal. Yeah, but it seems like if you had a, if you had some. Uh, f- a dr- something to drink and it's full of caffeine or sugars you ain't got a problem but if somebody gives you a health drink you say what's in it you know and, and not trust something that is to your benefit it's like we are moving in a, in a way that 
we're, we're as you say it's psychotic we, we, we're moving towards something that's detrimental to our well-being but we don't see it though mm-hmm. so I would say what do you think is the psychosis behind that it's a very big question I think it's to do with learned behavior mm-hmm. Le- we have we, ha- we have become rabbits um, when we should actually be lions mm-hmm. we become pussycats because we don't understand the power of having the ability to change destiny because another thing is what I'm saying is it's like it's an addiction mm-hmm. so it's basic you can talk to somebody and, and they say they're going to do it but as soon as that moment's gone they're addicted to going somewhere else and, and they'll do what they were doing previously previously yeah so what is the process that's ingrained that in our in our psychosis I think it, it comes right down to not seeing us doing anything. See, if you, if, you, if you say you are part of a program, let's say you are part of the Olympic team for any country, and you, if you see all of, your, all of your colleagues going out on, on there and they're failing miserably at everything they say they're good at, you, are, you sitting there looking at that will develop a complex psychologically without even realizing it you start to see yourself as losing because all your all your fellow colleagues who are your team are losing you will immediately develop a losing mindset and so when you go out there you're not going out to win you're going out to lose because all your colleagues lost we got to change that that narrative to okay he lost but i'm gonna win that one lost but i'm the winner right here i'm gonna go out there and show the world how great i am so I'm going to win. you got to reverse the process in your own mind of the negativity of losing. Because if you, not because your colleague lost, that doesn't mean you're going to lose. If you put your mind to being a winner. And that's one of the, our greatest mistakes, is not being positive about being successful. Well, the thing is what you just said there kind of is a key element and the reason why, there's a reason why we can't, because basically, you could try maybe maybe read a book or go to a motivational speaker or you know get inspiration from a sports event or sing or whatever but that can't counteract the constant programming that you've had from birth mm-hmm. that, that you, 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 you're, you're inferior citizens from the religion from the entertainments from the films from, from, from the celebrities you know you're constantly bombarded and programmed subconsciously and covertly to, to feel inferior you know by the outside influences that we're allowing ourselves to take in and the problem with us is that we absorb we, we're absorbers so we have to see you only can, need to see something from a set for a second and then you'll reproduce that 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 behavior that's been put put in you so this is another reason why we need to shut down we need to shut down and stop recognizing somebody else who's, who's, who's putting something forward to you to our de- detriment hence my reason for saying we have to smash so not just take down not just take the picture down and put it in the corner take it down and literally smash it break that psychological barrier that psychological dependence on someone else you know if you listen to our music we're always saying stuff like we deserve the right we deserve the right to be free no we're born with the right to be free i don't deserve sh- nothing i i am born with the right to take my freedom for myself i don't want them to send me back to africa i've got my damn self don't keep making songs like send, send us back to africa what's wrong getting in a plane and go yourself the, the the transportation is there don't make excuses for what we're not doing don't tell them, don't tell, don't sing songs like, um, give us a chance, give us a, give us, a, give us a chance. No, I don't want them to give me a damn thing. I'm going to go get it myself. That's, I'm a man. A man does what he has to do for himself. He doesn't rely on another man to do it for him. So these reggae artists making these stupid songs about, give us a, we, we, we deserve the right, give us a chance, send us back to Africa. Please, now let me call you the word. But mm, please, don't be hearing. Don't be, I don't hear stuff like that. Say, I was born with the right to do as I please. I'm gonna go Africa tomorrow because I can get a plane and do so. Don't. I don't want you to send me back. I'll go back on my own because I'm a man. 
and I, I think just to concur with, with the education system training you to be somebody else's talent you know that's the key element is that they, they've trained you to believe that this person is superior to you they have the right to define you they have the power to educate you and then they have the power to tell you what you can and what you can't do you know and the key element of that is they've, they've fooled you to believe in that their history is superior to your history their power is superior to your power they have a royal family where you have come from slavery and and that their educational their qualification and their certification and their exams mean something their master's degrees and all the degrees that go they've, they've conned you to to believe that it means something but if they and the, the, the only way they can do that is to create a false fictional uh, ancestry for themselves because if if their teaching does not have any of comedic uh, ancestry in the teachings then it's a false belief it's opinion or it's a dogma it's not based on fact so if if anything they do does not involve anything from ancient Kemet in the dialogue it's not based on fact it's a belief and it's opinion so it, it so, so, so that therefore it has no ground and no standing so this is what we have to know that qualification means that you just a, tr a well trained animal that you can do what you've been told to a higher degree it doesn't mean you've you, you've got some outstanding intuitive high capacity to create and be creative and and, and make your own it means that you can reproduce what you've been told to reproduce and being a well paid slave that's why they give you pages to read because a page boy is someone who follows out and carries messages paid the original Greek word for paid means a child in discipline so basically this is what we have to let go and stop recognizing power can only be power if you recognize it as power so you have to shut down your recognition of somebody who is in competition with you and looking at them as superior if you look at somebody who is in competition with you as a superior you've lost the game before it even starts and, and that's exactly what I was saying Jammers you know for example when you uh, have a discussion with someone who worships this false Jesus and when you put them up, up against the wall because now you've shown them what they've been told is a lie guess what they say I believe I believe and I have a personal relationship but the word belief means in the absence of knowledge or truth yeah facts truth cannot exist uh, in, in, in uh, together with a belief exactly so when you say you believe what you're saying is you have no facts but i'm blindly believing because someone told me so and it made it's made of two sounds and really the time sound should be said in reverse it, it's be leave but it should be leave be in the middle of believe is the word lie if you say believe backward you see evil you know and, and and it's be the lie of eve that that, that eve gave adam the apple and made adam wicked so it's also in in in, in in, 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 integral part of the word believe is to bring down the woman yes and it's a lie it's a lie you know the lie of eve and eve for it eve eve uh, to make note of means before christmas eve means before christmas new year's eve means before new year maybe new year evening means before night so adam and eve really means adam and before <coughs> the, the problem is we don't we don't seem to have this this um, desire to break down what has been given to us. We, we, we believe in it verbatim, thinking it's really true. But for, for all those Africans who are going to go to church tomorrow morning and tomorrow night, I want, to say, I want to say this for them. When you take on this religion called Christianity, you in fact insult your ancestors. Well, the thing about it is you've got to have a real knowledge of it. And to have a real knowledge of it, you need you need to know the Greek and the, the Hebrew and, the, and Latin. the Latin. That's real knowledge, you know, because basically there's truth in the fiction. And, and, and it's a study of astrology, it's a study of ancient science, it's, it's a study of human conduct, but it's hidden in the actual system of, of belief. Religion, re means to go back, lig, lig means to bond, yeah, like in a ligament, tie down. Ligature means to tie, so re lig means to put you into bondage the ligers 
were the North Africans who lived in Rome and were the first people that the Romans took as slaves. So the Ligurs from North Africa, the, the Neolithic age group were in, were the first, who lived in Italy, were the first people that the Romans took as slaves. So the Ligurs were put back in bondage, became religious. Religion came from enslavement of us as a people and that is facts. And people don't, must understand what they're, what they're looking at when they look at something. Because it's important to break things down to its most common denominator. And if you, if you just look at what, what's, been, what's been done to us, and the greatest insult of all is this. And this is what, I don't understand why we continue to go along with these things. Here we are in Africa. Well, Kemet, if you want to use the proper term. Africa's fine. And we are living very happy. Along comes some Europeans and tell us... You missed out for about 4,000 years? Well, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to... Okay, cool. I'm, not gonna say, I'm just going to say... Yes. You know, because we, we, we all know before the first raid in Africa by Alexander the Great, mm -hmm. we, you know, we had 29,000 years of dynasties. So we, we're not going to put them in the picture. Because, yeah, okay, but cool. my point is this. Here we are living very comfortably. And along, and I have our own deity. And we're living very, we're very powerful because it's our deity. We, we're successful and powerful with it. Along comes some international thieves. Some international robbers with their philosophy and told us, you know, you guys have been doing this for 29,000 years, but you're wrong. Our, 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 our belief is stronger than yours. And we're going to give it to you because you're wrong. All you've done before is crap. It's nothing we have the real thing can I just say something you're giving them cr too much credit no no I'm, I'm yeah, I just say that it wasn't a philosophy it was envy I know that I'm, I'm envy is the philosophy I'm, I'm just breaking it down into today's go, language go. hold on let me just, someone's calling in good morning what's your name where are you calling from hello not to let them out could I speak to somebody on the program the current program please you 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 live on on unconscious. You're live you're live, Linda. Respect Linda every time. All oh, right, cool. I I've been trying to get to for how long? But anyway, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, just a quick um, sort of recap on uh, you know the religious thing. Yeah. Yes. First of all, African, as they call it, melanated Indians, as we all know, has been the original people on this planet. Yep. Yep. If religion, as it posed to us, perpetrated, was real, then all of the people mentioned would have African names. That's the first thing. Okay. We we'll have what? The second, African name. Okay. Yeah. So instead of Jesus Christ, we probably have Baba Tundi or some some name that relates to being African. Uh huh. Yeah? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the first point. The second point is, being that the word Jesus Christ, pronounced in that way, as we know it's Jesus, as you quite rightly say, but Jesus Christ, you then not actually confirm the falsehood of religion. Because there was no such thing as English language when they said this came into being. Right. All right? The third aspect of this is us. us as a people, black people as we, as we are called, melanated people as we know, we, we tend to believe everything that the white man says. It doesn't matter if the white man says we're an idiot. We say yes, thank you sir, that's very good sir, you know. We, we've learned subservience through the ages. We have a distinction, an honor in being subservient as a people. And I mean generally, of course, specific individuals like yourself and me and some others might, you know, get the idea and say that religion is one part of mythology. Okay, that's all it is, mythology. But if you remember when you were young, when you remember things like memory gen, do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
it, it just comes back to us all the time and we keep it. I mean, Jack of the Blooming Jill went up the hill, fell down and had a pail of water. I still remember it. I learned it when I was about three. So we mustn't be too harsh on our people. I believe we're too harsh on our people. We must tell them what is real, yes. But we have to utilize the same psychological processes that has been used on us. No time. We have to use the same strategy that we've unlearned our own tradition and now swapping it and calling it a personality trait. We now call it our values and beliefs. And it is values and beliefs that's causing us this problem. The last point I want to make about religion is that all the people who are so affiliated and associated and are actively in religion, it's because they are making a statement that they're psychologically unstable and they don't believe in themselves. Their self-worth psychologically is lower than a snake's belly to the ground. <laughs> so I, I work as a coach and I speak with people and, I, and my specialty is relationships of all categories. And I can actually tell you that everybody's in conflict with themselves at some time. So first of all, I know it's for us to understand it's easy. And we can just dismiss all of this psychological trickery. But it's not easy for the person who hasn't got the tools to do it. It's my sister. So I'm saying we have to, you know, be a little bit more um, empathic. But empathic. Empathic. Nobody wants, uh, you know, um, <laughs> anything else but empathy. They just want to, can you walk in my shoes, please? Yeah? I've got a conflict with myself. Look at the people today. All over Africa, all over the Caribbean, all over where black people are. They are making the, uh, the, uh, <coughs> uh, the people who make, um, you know, these creams that change their color, you know, take the melanin away. They're making them trillionaires. You can't find anybody else using bleaching cream more than our own black people. What does that say about an individual who does that? Except, 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 in, Indi except in India. Well, I wouldn't say, when you say except in India, what do you mean? India has the largest population on the planet of, of uh, skin, skin, skin bleaching um, people. My brother, I hear you, but let me tell you something. I can give you statistics. There are more black people in the Caribbean right now Right now, bleaching. People in jail, DJs, um, musical so-called dancers. Celebrities. People. I don't want to name them. Celebrities. I, 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 I know what you mean. And, and the people, the children, the children are emulating their icons. So, I mean, we have generations of people who don't want to be black. They find it as a stigma, well, I, psychologically. I said bad luck to them. You understand? Yes, so I, I said bad luck I, I to them. I just want a little bit of empathy, please. You know, because the truth is, not everybody processes information as quickly as some other people. I agree. The introversion, introversion is something that is something that I didn't even understand years ago. I was demanding from my dear Empress to be as quick as me, who is an extrovert, in doing things and saying things and understanding things. And she told me, she said, I can't do it. I said, what do you mean? You're fully intelligent and I wouldn't have married an idiot, you know. Literally, I didn't say those words, otherwise I'd be out of the house. But you understand what I mean? I do, I do. And did she explain to me, my brother, that how an introvert, um, you know, processes information. I was fascinated. And so I went and did as many research, and still I'm doing research, into introversion because, like, it's, it's very interesting. And in fact, they're probably better off than an extrovert like me <laughs> because I, I don't listen enough. 
I don't read enough. I'm just a creative guy that goes bang, 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 and you know it just comes out natural to me, and that's it. That's your, I have that, that's to, your, that, in my work as a coach, consider, yes, those individuals. So let us all consider that. Everybody learns at their own rate. And it's only by repetition that people really, you know, something really kicks inside our head. Well, let, let's, start the, let's start the process by taking that, that Jesus figure and smashing it. Well, of course. I mean, I grew up in the time whereby, you know, if I didn't know the Bible, it was, it was going to be some kind of thing against my parents. Because people would be asking in the community, what kind of boy, you know, is Mrs. So-and-so or Mrs. So-and-so bringing up? Because he doesn't know the Bible. So much have they involved themselves. Nobody converted themselves. They converted themselves. So that, that's because what, that, they don't have the adequate tools to deal with their low self worth. So Some therefore, have been raped. So, so Some therefore, have been, uh, sorry, my brother, go ahead. So I'm saying so. Therefore, that's why I'm suggesting we take it down and don't put it in the corner. Smash it up to break the spell. Yes, and, and I totally agree with you, but we can do that. What I'm saying, my brother, if you are speaking to somebody who has converted themselves, you have to have the machination to give to them and let them destroy the image. We can't do it for them, no matter how much we want to do it and help them. We can't help anybody unless they give us permission to help them. Uh, uh, That's uh, what I'm saying from a psychological point of view. Yeah, Linda, uh, and then we have to make a, a difference between which is psychologically traumatized as against which is psychiatrically traumatized. Yeah, Linda, no, I just, two different starters. Uh, Linda, no, I'd just like to say, yeah, I like what you bring to the table. Basically, what you've sort of enlightened us is there, there's more ways I'm than... I'm sorry, Jamas, I can't hear you clearly. Say it again, please. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, basically uh, what you put to the table, there's, there's more than one way of changing the mind, yeah? So what yeah. we have to do, as if we're at the forefront of this, we have to find out what our skill is. So, so the ones who are, who, who are skilled at brutalizing and kicking things down and smashing, smashing the, the, the pictures, find the people who you, can, who you can get to like that. The ones who are skilled in, as you're saying, empathy and, you know, making a, 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 another process, then you use that method. So basically we work as a team, you know, and everybody finds the, the, the part that they specialize in, you know. And as you're saying, there's more than one way and it's, some minds can't be changed one way you know but other people are specialists in, in, in doing it in their way so everybody uh, you know specialists in their own area I take that point as uh, you know humbly um, all I'm saying is from my standpoint in my strength and how I work I am just telling you what I find to be the case right all right I'm not saying you have to even accept what I said all I'm saying is, do the research for yourself and, and see that sometimes just coming in and smashing the thing. I mean, if you think about it, if you value something, okay, no matter what it is, then I come along and I say to you, smash it. Are you going to do it? You can give a reason to react. Well, you know, reasons to me don't mean nothing. Reasons, do you know what reasons really are, my brothers? Reasons are convenient excuses. It's the answer and, and, and justification to the question why. That's my finding. What would you say as a psychologist that makes somebody change their uh, opinion? Say that again, Javas, I'm sorry, it's not very clear, my brother. Uh, what would you say as a psychologist is the best way to make somebody um, change their uh, opinion or their or what they stand to hold or their view? As I said to you, everybody needs tools to do something. If I have to, you know, go under my car, I need a jack, yeah? Yeah, so what, to what tools do you need to change your mind then? But I don't know until I speak to the individual because we have different needs, Janet. This is my point. My point is it's not a, you know, a carte blanche, you know, we can just do this and do that. It doesn't 
doesn't actually necessarily work like that. Everybody needs a tool. Now let me say this, if I had two clients today and they had similar, you know, situations, yes, I could not give each client the same tool. I'd have to establish which tool might work for them and I might have to offer them an array of tools for them to choose. That is normally the best way from I found. Give them enough and they will choose one that they say, yeah, I feel comfortable with that. And I'll give you one thing that's on my screen right now, my computer. I have a client who told me that her situation is urgent. Okay? We've discussed it. I agree with her. Yes, she needs to do something about it now. She's ready. So I gave her a questionnaire to fill in. And to, to the next person, I might say, oh yeah, that's easy. Bang, 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 bang. She said to me, look, Linda, I'm finding this very, very difficult to, to complete. And it wasn't because she didn't understand the, the questionnaire, what it requires. But I'm asking her to measure her emotional, um, um, uh, 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 to rate her emotional um, uh, 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 um, uh, process, i.e. say um, uh, emotional uh, negative emotions, for instance. Yeah, there are a list of say 12. And it's not that she can't read and write, it's not that she can't actually process that these things need prioritizing. That's all I'm asking her to do, believe it or not. But she can't make any sort of impact on the paper because she doesn't understand, for instance, what shame means. To her, shame means something completely different to what shame would mean to you and I. So you have to think about the, the depth of that. You know, I have to help her now, so I've rearranged it in a way so she can understand it a bit better. So all I'm saying is how we perceive things is quite different as individuals, even if we were Siamese twins with the same chair in the same brain. Do you remember those two Iranian sisters who were joined at the head, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. for 42 years? Yeah. Now they got, they got along fine, no, no problem, they managed to balance and do all they had to do until somebody in America said, look, we can separate you, you can go your own way. And they, they swallowed all of that. After convincing all of us that they could, you know, carry on and, and be okay and use the same brain independently. That was the magic solution. One wanted to be a corporate lawyer and the other one a social worker. Can you believe that? Using the same brain? Yeah. But that's what I mean about people having different needs. I don't know if my point isn't clear. It's the best I can do today. I, we, I think we, we fully understand what you're saying. I think we fully understand what you're saying, uh, Lyndon. Um, you know, I'm not saying I'm the only authority on this. I'm just giving it to you from my perspective. And that's the only, the only one you can give from your own perspective? From my own perspective. And, we, under, and, we, and we understand that and we, we're not holding issue with you. We are agreeing you know, with, we no, are, we are it, agreeing it with you. It doesn't matter even if you do, my brother, because it means we have a brain of our own and we probably have a different methodology, you know, which might work. And that's fine, I accept that. All I'm saying is that sometimes even I have to say to myself, oh, let me have another think about this because the next person is quite different from me and how I might want to handle it. And I agree with you, Brother Mohammed. Yes, yeah, smash the damn thing. I've seen it numb enough. I don't want to see it no more. Yeah? And as long as it's not there, I'm not thinking about it because it is a reiteration of the same stupidity. But, but I, all, I, I agree. But I also said, when you smash it, put the picture of your husband up there. Your father, yes. your brother. Absolutely, your my brother. Absolutely. That's, that's the key. I don't have anything wrong in what you say, because the truth is, there is a video going about now on WhatsApp, and it's talking about, let's say, the black woman. And they go from Sojourner Truth all the way through to Michelle Obama, for instance. Yeah? And they're saying exactly what they're saying. Put an image 
of the person who means something to you within your household. So the woman should put up of her king, and the man should put up of his queen. Exactly, exactly. 100%, my brother. I couldn't agree with you more. I think, you know, you're my kind of people, yeah? You're my kind of people. You talk the language that I normally speak. But I'm saying, you know, that's between us. It's easy. For some of the people, it might not be so easy because, you know, this fear of God thing has, is a psychological flight of mentality. Yeah. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. It's anchored. If you anchor something, my brother, you anchor a ship, it doesn't move necessarily until you know how to pull the anchor up. The same thing goes within the psychological atmosphere. If you anchor something like a picture, picture remind me, you see a picture of yourself when you were like three, you suddenly remember like, wow, that was what I used to do. And you zip back there somehow. So I'm saying for us to de-anchor, we might have to cut the rope and leave the anchor into the earth, into the sand, and, move and on. then drive, drive the ship out. And that's, that's, that's exactly why I'm saying not only do we smash the picture, but we, we replace it because if we don't replace it with our own image, yeah, images, yeah, then we are, we are then still susceptible to yeah. suggestions by others. 100% concur, my brother. No problem as far as I'm concerned. Well, Lyndon, well, thank you for your call, Lyndon. All right. Little bigger every time, yeah. And now you've got, you. Sh- you got a show on um, Sunday as well, you? Jammers. Yeah. Jammers. Jammers? I'm listening, I can hear you, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. You know, um, I, I'm doing a little thing myself. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, doing the show yourself, you. yeah? I, I know, yes, Lyndon. I, I wonder how I can get that across. Just say what you do. What do you do? What, what, where, where, people can, where can people hear you? <laughs> okay, I brought a Mohammed in for this. Well, Let me ask his permission. Well, you have my permission. Thank you, Brother Mohammed. We're not, we're, not no, in com- we're, not, we're not in competition. We're on a mission. No, it's always about respect for me, though, my brother. I learned it. You know, principles of respect. Absolutely. I agree, but, you know, we're not, yes, we're not, we're not competing. Okay, I, all I wanted to say, my brother, I love your, your, your program. And, and, you know, I would love you if you could ever listen to the, the show that I do. The show that I do is on a Sunday, 8 till 10, on a, on a, a brother or a sister. Um, <laughs> Um, outlet as well, okay. and um, that is, can I mention the name of that? Of course you can. Bless Radio, Bless Radio, uh, eight to ten every Sunday is the Black Experience, um, as uh, hosted by myself, Dr. Lyndon Walton. Okay. Okay. So please give it a listen. Uh, we do lots of things. We want to build schools. In home. Well, you need to you need to come out to our, our event tomorrow. I can easily do that, man. I used to come and conscious show sometimes, you know, many moons ago when you were at the other place. Right, but, right. Uh, I haven't been invited recently. I hope he's listening. <laughs> but I'm quite willing to. Yeah, come got, and, uh, there's a live event tomorrow that they're having uh, on Tottenham High Road. I don't know if you want to give the details. Uh, Bruce, yeah, Bruce Grove at, at the Exquisite Lounge. The oh, I, I know, I, I know the place, but uh, I, I won't be able to come because you see, for me, I go twenty-four-seven, three-six-five. Okay, and right now I have to be. Um, I leave with my research because Jam has told me about your program today. So I've got my research. I've got forty-two books on my floor, and I must get everything sorted out today. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So well, between well, now and Sunday, unfortunately, I can't even see my grandchildren this weekend. Okay, well, if you can't come, you, we'll tell you what the results are next week. Please do, please do. And it's a lovely place, a uh, lovely venue. I've been there, I've kept things there myself. So yeah, we're, looking, we're, looking, we're expecting a full house tomorrow. Have a great time, my brothers. Have a great time. Thank you. I'll be there in spirit, anyway. Oh, I prefer you to be there in physical. All right, okay. Thank, thank you all so much. Please give a little listen to my my show, and then you can give me some. Call me up and give me some feedback as well. Yeah. For sure, for sure. All right. In fact, I, tomorrow on Sunday, I have a guest 
from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, coming to to my program. Wonderful. So you might want to feel even more interested to know that people, of course, you know this through the tuning thing. You know, people can hear us everywhere. I have people in Long Island waiting to come on. And I have a whole list of people right up until March who want to come and be interviewed by me. So please, the black experience, have some experience of the show that I've produced as well. Okay? Fantastic. Okay. Good, thanks. Thank you. Give thanks, Lyndon. Peace and blessings. Bye -bye. Thank, Thank you, Lyndon. Uh, I just want to add to this. There's another problem that's uh, been because the Bible now, the bi the book, the Bible has now been replaced by social media. That's for for the youth. The media, social media, is the new Bible, mm -hmm. and they have black images. But the black images, the black rappers, and, and they're all negative. So that's the ne that's the next hurdle that there is. Is that the new Bible is social media to our young people. The number to reach us on is 0794-994-7316. Just for, for my show, the number to reach us on is 0794-994-7316. Thank you, Lyndon, for the call. Uh, over there in uh, the Tottenham side of town. Yes, thank you, Brother Lyndon. And I just want to add this evening. The one thing about the Bible, it, at least it had spirituality in it. Mm -hmm. Social media teaches you materialism. Yep. And the youth now... Are not focus on anything to do with spiritualism. They focus with having the latest car, the latest outfit, and the mechanism that they're using to get the money is mostly illegal. Yeah, but they, but they're enjoying the spoils of their labor. That's right. So this is the next hurdle now. Is this 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 Bible has been replaced by social media with the new Bible for the young. Well, I want I want I want us to see one of the things that we if, once you smash it in the home and get rid of the image, then the children will grow up with a whole different mindset. But the, as I said, the problem now, people that, that when before, like our parents used to force us to go to the church. Now, the youth now, there's no interference with them picking up their mobile phone and looking on anything that they want to see and being influenced by it without any guidance, without any restrictions. So that is the new problem now. They bypass the, the parenthood now through the social media mechanisms, which sometimes the parents don't even know how to access the information. Well, well, what, what the parents need to do is to give the children limited time on their phone, take away the phone for certain times and give it to them when they deserve to get it. Don't just blandly give them the phone and say, here you go, here's your phone, you've got 500 minutes or whatever it is every month. No, be in control of what your children do. We used to do it before and we can still do it again. And we, must, we mustn't be afraid to be in control of our children's activities. Don't let the local council tell you what you can't do with your, chil with your children. Not their children, with your children. Tell them to go take a walk when they come telling you about your children. Ask them, have they got children? What do you know about children? You know, I've, I've got five children. I would dare them come tell me to raise my children, even though they're, they're fully grown now. And that's, that's another problem, because their, 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 well, their method of teaching, you know, so is, is a lot of it is theoretical, and it doesn't it entertain how our, our psychological, physiological, mental, and mentally capacity to, to, uh, uh, to produce, become creative, and, and use information. Their, theirs is based on rationality and, and, and physicality. And, 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 and illogical thinking. Illogic, illogical thinking. Some of, them, some of them do have no children of their own. You know, and, and they're going to tell you how to, have, how how to, to deal yeah, with children. Yeah, and they try to put the theory into action and make the theory work. Yeah, make the, the theory the reality. That's right, yeah. Like, like most of them have done in the past, mm -hmm. such as um, all of their, all their so-called great scientists, Starting with Charles Darwin, mm -hmm. make a theory real. Yeah. Well, that's all bunkum, I say. And then, and then there's, there's fraud as well. Yeah, the, the, the Freud, the fraud, fraud, the, fraud. The, fraud. The, the fraudulent, the fraudulent. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's his first? What's his first name? Oh, 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 he's escaped yeah, uh, his name si, si, is it Sigmund, Sigmund Fraud. Sigmund Fraud. Uh, Sigmund Fraud. fraud yeah, yeah. yeah, the one they call Freud, the fraud. Yeah, and a lot of them as well because they don't. You know, we're used to natural. We're used to seeing women running around and children running around. It's not because they're not used to the, to the flesh like that. It's a lot of perversion and sexuality comes into everything that they do. I know, I know, perversion yeah, is the yeah, right thing to everything word. that they do. And, and, and as I said, as, it, like, as with Christianity, you know, they, they catch people at their weakest, you know, and, and a lot of the times in the church and in, and in their so-called medical science, you know, this is where they carry out their perversions. Corrupt medical Perversions, science. because it's, it's called, they call themselves 
the therapist mm. the rapist look yes. at the word therapist it's the rapist. therapist you see the rapist they have you on the couch and the recent one was in the Olympics the guy got 175 years for the abuse that he done the doctor on, on, on the, on, the, the on females the females yeah. yeah 175 years he got you know as the therapist yeah, he he was the real the real rapist. That's right. This is where this is where it really comes through, you know. And in the church as well, it's it's, it's paramount in the church. They didn't mention the they, church. Yeah, they catch you at the weakest um, with their so-called doctrine. And, and and you know one of the strangest things are that most people will trust these people explicitly with their well-being and their welfare, not understanding that these folks ain't there to help you. They're there to help themselves using you as a, as a as a tool for for their aims and objectives tool or experiment right? a lot of it even the medical science and it's you're just an experiment for them they see everything as an experiment absolutely and they, they base it on percentages percentages and finance as well the budget and, and, and yeah so that's Cause right because that doesn't pay their salary the salary that's it and, and then they force you as, as you were saying to, the, to their theory so if you're not behaving in accordance to the way that the theory says they'll inject inject the drug in you to make you behave and then that approve them right with their, their, their own isn't that amazing Amazing. They they do it to prove them right by creating a, a, a false a sense fa of reality. False sense of reality. An acronym as well. False sense of reality. Yeah, that's right. They verify it by their false. And then they say so it, it works. And then they make it a rule, and then they make, it, as I said, they see themselves as the authority. And then write, they write it into law. Yeah, and then, then, then they make you study to get a certificate. To, and, to prove them right. To prove them right. And so part of certification means mad anyway, so. <laughs> certified means mad in certain instances. So this show is sponsored by the fabulous law firm of Owens Stevens Solicitors. Owens Stevens Solicitors. They are, in fact, immigration specialists immigration specialists their motto is changing your tomorrow changing your tomorrow they are located at 28 downs road clapton london echo 5 8 delta sierra that's 28 downs road clapton london echo 5 8 delta sierra their landline number is 0208 986 Seven five five five. That's zero two zero eight nine eight six seven five five five. Their cell phone number is zero seven eight one three zero seven zero seven four four. That's zero seven eight one three zero seven zero seven four four. The email address is info at owenstevens.org.uk. That's info at o w e n s s t e v e n s dot org dot uk. They are authorized and regulated by the Solicitors Regulation Authority, which means they are a bona fide law practice. So if anyone you know, whether it's a family member, a work colleague, or a college buddy, have an issue with their immigration, remember the government is introducing new laws that will make it mandatory for employers, landlords, and banks to report to them so they can check your immigration status to make sure you are legally allowed to live and work in the UK. If you're not in that category when you want to be, the best people to call is in fact Owens Stevens Solicitors. Owens Stevens Solicitors. So call them today and tell them African Mohammed told you to call them. Their number is 0208-986-7555. That's 0208-986-7555. Cell phone number 0781-307-0741. That's 781 307-0744 Email address is info at owenstevens.org.uk That's O-W-E-N-S S-T-E-V-E-N-S dot org dot UK Call them today and tell them African Mohammed told you to call them This show is also sponsored by William Diet Racing William Diet Racing They are BMW specialists so if you're looking to buy a used BMW or to have yours serviced, William Diet is the place to be. William Diet Racing. They're located at 107 through 109, 
Downs Road, Clapton, London Echo 5, 8 Delta Alpha. That's 107 through 109, Downs Road, Clapton, London Echo 5, 8 Delta Alpha. They are opposite Owen Stevens. You can't miss them. If you're looking to buy a used BMW, that's the place to be. If you're looking to have your serviced, that's the place to be. They have been in, in the motor trade for over 35 years. And all of their workmanship is fully guaranteed. And any previous warranty with BMW is unaffected by, by BMW UK. Okay? So if you're looking to buy a used BMW or you're looking to have yours serviced, they also service most other makes also. So if you drive one of the other brands, Toyota, Honda, uh, Nissan, Hyundai, you know, um, Mercedes Benzes, you know, whatever. Oh, I lost my train of thought. 986 3400 sorry 0208 986 3400 or their cell phone number 0794 783 7534 call them today William Diet Racing tell them African Muhammad told you to call them today gentlemen we've got 7 minutes of the show left Once again, uh, the number, if you're interested in the book, once again, you can even contact the Mastermind Intelligence Center, uh, .co uk, or you can text me on 07-497-069-702. Once again, 07-497-069-702. Text your name and, and bro, my family for your discount. Absolutely. Remember now. If you don't text us in and you don't get involved, you won't know what you need to know. Um, Jammers has done a book, a beautiful book called The Ethnology. The Roots of Words. The Roots of Words. And if you don't know the roots of words that you're using every day, how will you be able to compete in a world where language is everything? Yeah. And the use of language is very well used against us because we don't understand what we're doing. Yeah. That's our brother Zacchaeus Jackson. I saw you in my dreams. What a fabulous song. Yeah, you, you DJs out there, you, don't, you know, you're not playing the, the music of our young UK artists. You should be playing the stuff because that was just fabulous of Jackie Jackson right there. If you ain't playing it, how will he get out there? How will people know him if you're not playing him in the clubs? You should be... That kind of music, you could rub the wallpaper off on that one. This is a great, this is a great song. I have, I have one more, but before we go... Uh, I want to thank DJ Jammers for coming in this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks, D DS Jammers, yeah, DJ thanks, Jammers. Both. You're really. DJ now, so. Yeah, yeah. So just Jammers, you yeah, get confused. Jammers so. is probably easier. Isn't it? Yeah. Thanks for inviting me down, and thanks for listening. I hope I was able to contribute and put something in your head to make you a bit more conscious. Well, if they, if they didn't get anything, that means they were dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If they didn't get what you were saying this morning then you know um, there's not a lot we can do because it means that they were consciously dead and yeah, once again I just said racism now remember racism means competition it's about the race race you look in the dictionary if you don't believe me uh, I don't even want you to believe me just look at the facts that race means competition so it's, that's a fact it's a fact you know every every hundred yard race is a competition, it's a competition. every 200 400 whatever all competitions that's right. well why wouldn't we not think there's a competition between human beings trying to get to the top and being the top dog you know, I'm using the expression that they use. Yeah. Everyone wants to be the top dog. You want to be the number yeah. one boxer, the number one singer. You, you want to be the number one in everything. Right. Yeah. We just don't get the picture that that happens in real life yeah. too, about everything that we do and, and every spare of, of operation. That's right. Even well, amongst your own. It, yeah, even amongst your own brethren, there's competition. Competition. Righteous competition because yeah. you love one another. Yeah. So you help each other out. But then the, you, when it comes to other people, mm -hmm. it's a fierce competition yeah. to the top. Want to be number one, be the winner. Because uh, what it is, their competition is to win, you know. You can have a competition to develop or, or test how, skill, how skillful you are, where each person develops and their con skills. And contributes. Yeah, yeah. So it, 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 we develop in a, it, it was a develop of skills. Co co you know, working together to develop skills. That's, that's one element. But there's, there's the one to win at, 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 by any at all costs. Cost. At all costs. Uh -huh. that's, that's their guy. By all costs. That's, that's their way. Yeah. If we follow their way, we we be stuck. Well, brothers and sisters, I want to thank you for your time and for allowing me into your home this morning. Thank you. And into your ears. Thank the, um, the DS Jammers for coming in. Thank you. And uh, looking forward to having you back an another time. Yep. 
it's quite intense. I was telling you, people don't realise you know getting up in the morning or if you haven't slept it's like amazing, me it's amazing, to come in and then for talk it's, it is uh, to get your mind in gear. But it just shows what you can do. But yes, and that's why I didn't talk about etymology. <laughs> I wanted to bring out what's in you because I know it's in there. Yeah, so so thank you, brother, yeah, for coming in. We're gonna play one more tune and then we're gonna leave the studio. This is by Michael Gordon with Ray Carles on the saxophone. Check this. Oh, I'm going to be down at Chris Rock tonight as well. Down, uh, yeah, Chris, Chris Rock. He's down at uh, Wembley Arena. You going down? Yeah, tonight? so I'll be down there. You know, so hopefully I can pick up some tips because humour as well is a way of getting across the information. I, I'm not a fan of Chris Rock. Well, it's a way of humour. You can get humour. You know, you can say things in humour. But mean it. And, and, and get it across. You know, in in ways that if you're serious, people won't take the information in. So I'm going there to analyse and see yeah, how they, they switch off. Of course, yeah. So. Thank you. Unfortunately, though, not enough of us that will be down there. So mainly, mainly the, the, the competition. They're there to analyse what he's saying to see whether or not what he's saying bears fruit for us. That's what they're there for. But we go, we don't go because we can't afford the ticket, or we don't want to pay the money for the ticket. We don't go to analyse, we go to just, you know... Just listen and, yeah, and enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they go to analyse to see whether or not there's merit in what you're saying. Yeah. We just don't get that. Okay, this is the last song by Michael Gordon with Ray Carlos on sax. Check this out, gentlemen.